Okay, welcome back. This is one of my all-time favourite tunes. Not just dance tunes. It's just a brilliant, brilliant song. Originally done by Marshall Jefferson, featuring Keisha Jenkins. But I'm going to do the Loveland remix, featuring Rachel McFarlane. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the individual parts. And then at the end of the tutorial, put the track on and play along with it. Let's take a look, see what's going on. The introduction starts with strings. The first chord is D minor 7. Here's your minor triad. Same shape. You just move up to the E. Creates an E minor 7. You move back to the D minor 7. A G. Back to the E minor 7, but with an A. Switch between the D and the C sharp. Do that again. And it goes back to the D minor. There we go, D. Keep the shape. D minor, E minor 7, F major 7. Back to the A minor 7. And we're just running up. Here. Playing a G major 6. Made a triad, but with an E. And it's an A with an E. Root, if root. I'll play it all again for you. And then comes the piano. What a riff. What a riff this is. It's just, oh my god. It is one of the best piano riffs ever written. Oh, play an A in the left hand. 
right hand, C, G, creates an A minor 9. B, F sharp, and the A, E and the G, and then back up. playing a D major and it's second inversion to an E minor 7 or a G or an E and this has been inverted again And I add that to turn around in the A again. That is the chorus riff. <coughs> the verse uses the same chords. A minus seven. D. E minus seven. Then we get to the pre chorus. C major 7 Major triad B, B in the 7th B minor 7 B minor A, B in the 7th A minor 7 And you move your left hand to, to a D. Same chords again.
that is pretty much it. What I'm going to do now is put the track on. We're going to play a long time.
That was my interpretation of I Need Somebody by Loveland. One of the best house tunes ever written. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Keep practicing and I will see you soon.